Now is David Wright, a British expat who's uh, lived for 15 years in Almeria in the south of Spain. David, thank you very much for joining us. How did you prepare for this uh, close, this lockdown in Spain? Well, it came quite of a sudden, really. We were watching the television a couple of days ago, thinking that it wouldn't really affect us. And then with the announcement on the television, it went into complete lockdown straight away. And um, it's made things quite, quite difficult for us. We've been out today to the corner supermarket and it's a bit like a bit surreal being in a sort of a doomsday field really where we have to wear gloves and masks to go in the shop and we're sprayed our hands are sprayed before we go in the shop there's police monitoring people not buying too much in bulk um it's quite quite surreal how are the shops keeping up with demand well, this morning there was there was basic foods um, available. It didn't seem too bad, but water was very low. There was no bread this morning, no dairy products, and the fruit and vegetables was very low. Um, but it's still got enough food to keep us going for a while. What are the consequences of people who don't observe these new rules? Well, apparently now um, the police have got rights and powers to stop you and check where you're going if it's not essential travel and I hear that they're imposing fines and I did see quite a lot of police on the road on their way back here this morning. So, Obviously uh, Spain a very popular place for a lot of British people to, to move to, particularly in retirement. How are those communities trying to support each other through this? Well I've got to um, keep in touch with all my friends and family members here and people I've known over the years through Facebook and it's a similar scenario all over the south of Spain so people are, are rallying around on the internet basically because you just can't go out anywhere you can't do anything and it's it really is a major lockdown everywhere they're not even allowed to travel more than one person in a car now so I've just been advised on the television um, so it, it really is stay indoors and don't do anything. How well prepared do you think people are for this? Well, it was such a shock to us. We've been thinking about it for a while, watching it on the television um, progress through China and Italy. But even so, you know, we literally had just a few hours to prepare and didn't realise until this morning we went out to try and buy groceries how much of a lockdown it really is. Even the little tiny um, children's park at the end of our street, which has really just got a couple of swings and sliders, got all the police hazard tape around it already. David, it's uh, an extraordinary time uh, in Spain I and mean, it looks like many other places are, are heading in the same direction. Thank you for talking to us about what's happening there. David Wright in Almeria.